This is my fourth time racing the Mount Panorama track at Bathurst. In 2008 was my first year, which didn't go so well. 2009 I did better, 2012 I ended up winning the Constellation final, and this is now finally my fourth time in 2018. Mount Panorama is one of the toughest motor racing circuits in Australia, with events such as the Bathurst 1000 and the Bathurst 12 hour race being held here. Technically it's a street circuit, because when there's no racing on, you're allowed to go up there and drive around, it's a public road. But of course you're still not allowed to go street looting down there. Our start is up at Skyline, I'm going to be doing a run with Abdul Madzan and Graham Britton on this one. So after the push, you come into a section called the S's. This is just the right left sort of sweeper. You don't need to brake for this, but you do need to get your positioning quite well for these corners. Uh, there you go, it's Grit's having a good time. So coming into the right hander before the left dipper. Now Grit absolutely nails this because he's been here every year since 2008. Abdul and I are just hanging back a little bit. On the exit of the dipper, you've got the right hand sweeper and then there's another left sweeper before right into forest elbow. Forest elbow is quite a difficult one to take because you've got to try and hit that apex exactly right, otherwise you're completely off. As you can see, it's nice and wide though, so if you do make a mistake, you can get away with it, but doing it quickly is difficult. And then coming down the straight, it's a Conrad straight, so it's a very, very long straight, and drift. drafting is very important here. As you can see, as Abdul is getting right at my rear on this. So you've got to bear that in mind when you're racing, because if you come out of the forest elbow in second or third, you might get overtaken. In the semi-final, I was against Abdil, Tim and Lance. It's quite interesting to watch Abdil's push, because he uses the flats of his hands, whereas I use my knuckles. There's not much difference in it, but it's just a personal preference. Abdul gets off the line very, very fast, because he's got a good push, but also that right-hand lane does have a slight advantage. I managed to pull well ahead of both Tim and Lance on the push, and this is still the semi-final, so I was holding back a little bit on the push. Coming through the dipper is quite an eventful because there's no one nearby and I'm still taking it easy. But coming into the forest elbow, I want to try and save my wheels for the final because I have to switch over beforehand. And I decide to go in there quite easy, I sit up for the brake early and I turn in. But unfortunately, Tim went a little bit quicker than me and ended up catching on my back end and taking us both out. I was having flashbacks back to 2008, but luckily I was okay. Under the protected zone rules, I managed to protest and get through to the final because Tim got DQ'd, but it's not a nice way to get through to the final, but I managed to do it. Off the start at, in the final with Graham and Julian, I ended up getting tangled up. Abdul was way out in front, but unfortunately these things happen and Julian ended up getting tipped off as luge because he got pinched between well, I, he got pinned to the side of Graham and myself. Uh, Abdul was too far ahead at this point for us to catch. So what happened was Graham ended up doing a crazy move in the forest elbow to try and get second to overtake me. But he didn't quite make it and ended up taking himself out. But luckily he was okay after this crash. Overall, I've got mixed feelings about my results in Australia. I'm really pleased with the second place at a World Cup level. But I know that Abdul's got two more races coming up in the next week or two, and they're both in the Philippines, and he's going to win both of them, putting him three wins at the beginning of the season. But then we've got South Korea. South Korea is going to be incredibly tough for everyone, as all the world's top racers are going there, including Ryan Farmer, Colby Parks, and Frank Williams. So it's going to be anyone's game in South Korea, so we've really got to try and up it for that. Anyway, look forward to seeing you next time, and we'll be seeing you in South Korea.